Good morning to all. Today we will be seeing another problem from the chapter factorization. This problem corresponds to the 28th problem of the V cube smart tube uh, workbooks on factorization. The problem is minus R squared plus P squared plus Q squared minus 2 PQ. Okay, now when you get such a problem like uh, in the last video I told you that when there are 4 terms you see if you can group it. Now but in this problem we find that there are no common terms between any of these 3 terms and so we cannot apply factorization by grouping. But there is an interesting observation here that P squared plus Q squared minus 2 PQ gives you a hint that it may belong to some kind of an algebraic identity right now how do we go about doing this so we write this as minus r squared plus we write this as a separate thing in enclosed by brackets so that it will be more clear to you as to identify the algebraic identity so going to the next step we know that a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is a plus b whole squared and a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is a minus b squared. So these are the three basic identities that we learn in the 8th standard. So we have to identify which of these two does this expression belong. So it's very clearly uh, we can make out that it belongs to this particular identity. So we use this identity to write this as minus r squared plus p minus q the whole square this corresponds to this identity so instead of a and b you wrote p and q now what happens since we don't want to have the minus in the beginning we don't want to be negative in the beginning what we do is we rewrite this expression as p minus q whole squared minus r squared please carry this minus here don't write a plus this is a common mistake that students do because why I am telling you to do this is now you will identify another algebraic identity. If you do it like this, you are going to find it difficult to identify. Many of the average students find it difficult to identify. But when you rewrite it like this, you can easily make out that it belongs to the identity a minus b the, uh, I am sorry, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So this is the identity that we are going to use and this particular expression we can identify p minus q as a and r as b. So what happens this becomes p minus q plus r that is a plus b into p minus q minus r that is a minus b. So after having applied this identity we have written this entire expression as p minus q plus r into p minus q minus r. This is the solution for this particular expression. So the main thing that you have to do is identify the identity and this comes only by practice. Sometimes it is very obvious but sometimes you have to uh, apply your mind and in order to get sufficient practice you can buy factorization workbooks from uh, v3 uh, uh, tutor.wordpress.com. So practice more problems like this and become a master of factorization by identifying the algebraic identity. We will go on to the next problem now. The next problem is x squared minus y squared plus z squared minus a squared plus 2 into xz plus ay. Now this corresponds to problem number 35 in the factorization workbook. So how do we start this? This time I am not going to give you repeated and uh, step by step solution. Since now you are comfortable with the problems, you will have to figure out certain things. So what I will do is I will group x squared minus y squared plus z squared minus a squared. I am going to remove this bracket here and write as 2xz plus 2ay. Do not forget this sign plus into plus is plus. Now once I have done this, again it is quite obvious that there is a 2xz here and I have an x squared and a z squared. So it leads me to some kind of an identity. So what I do, I rewrite by grouping it like this. x squared plus z squared plus 2xz minus y squared. Be careful of this minus sign 
carried wherever you go minus a square plus 2ay. Now I know what identity to apply. You have to identify the identity. I have written this as x plus z whole square. So your job is to identify the identity minus I have written this as y minus a whole square. Again here you have to identify the identity right. Now after having done this again I see that this corresponds to a minus b I am sorry a squared minus b squared right. So I again apply that identity and I solve it as x plus z plus a y minus a into x plus z minus y plus a. You can clearly see why I have got different signs here. Now I leave it as a homework to you to identify how I got this expression. Right? Keep trying and solve more problems on factorization. Purchase the V cube smart tute workbooks to give you better practice. Happy solving.